Hello everybody, I'm Scouted E3, and welcome to the Endurance, which is actually a, ship, a different version of the Endurance. This is Endurance Rank 3. And I've been working on this ship, and I don't know why in the world this thing's popped up. Shouldn't have. Military Escort. Anyway, I've been working on ways of taking off, and um, using natural gravity... Nat natural gravity? Natural gravity... Uh, mod by DG. Um, I believe it's by DG. I hope I didn't get that wrong. Um, <laughs> I certainly hope not. Um, but I've set it all the way up to one, and I've been doing some testing, and uh, I didn't want to put an excessive amount of thrusters, which I actually have quite a few thrusters downward pointing already on this ship. And um, under 1G of gravity, guess what? It's not enough to get off the ground. You can kind of sort of see it trying to lift off, but it just can't do it. Well, you notice that instead of gear, I have uh, space balls as my gear, which are kind of nice actually. They have, they don't take up one space and everything, but one thing that I've been working on is using them as gravity, as, um, not gravity, gravity, I can't speak today. Um, where are they? Well, I thought I had them. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have them on this one. This is an older. But see, I've got them down here, and I've got them set. Everything's all the way down for this demonstration. And um, basically, it allows it to kind of move on the side. So I can do something a bit a bit different sort of takeoff. And rather than just taking off normal-wise, I'll just do push both F and W. And I'll get lift, and I can do a really short takeoff and actually get off. And I'm also using both thrusters at this point, both my bottom and my back thrusters to get lift. So I can just get off the planet no problem. Of course, my back thrusters are plenty good enough. The only problem is, is it uses up a lot of power. And um, I can see situations where if I'm dealing with taking off of a normal planet, I could potentially run out of energy before I get off. But still, it's a it's a pretty sort of little simple way of taking off from a planet where you don't actually need enough thrusters on the bottom to do so. Of course, when they actually release planets on the game, I'm expecting them to probably release more realistic style gravity, in which case this pro probably won't be able to take off, although the concept might still work. That military escort must have crashed. I turned, uh, turned them off and they just randomly popped up. But... Um, basically, when they actually release the, um, planets onto, um, into, uh, the actual game, I'm expecting them to do more realistic gravity to where it will, will actually be 1G, and you, this concept probably would still work, but this ship itself probably won't be able to, to take off, and as you can see, um... I got a lot of thrusters facing down, but I didn't want to put a big thruster because that would mean I'd have to greatly expand the, the, the size of the ship. So I had to come up with a different solution, and this is the solution I came up with. And these space balls are, I think, one of these great features that I think is probably underestimated on what capabilities you can have. Because you can do all kinds of things, and they're more resistant to damage than actual um, tires are. So you can kind of, where normally you might take off of the off and, you know, you hit a bump and your wheel gets destroyed, that's less likely to happen. Plus, with their bounce properties, you hit something, you're just probably going to end up airborne, which is what you want. Um, so it ended up being really cool. I know it looks slightly kind of funny, but um, very, very useful as landing gear. And um, let me see if there's anything else I need to talk about. I don't believe so. This was going to be just a really short little video, which it has been. And um, yeah, I'll probably I'll go ahead and put the um, Endurance Mark VI on the, the Steam Workshop um, just to just for demonstration. If someone wants to look at it, put um, Natural Gravity on um, a world and then test it out and everything. So. And there's some good asteroids, and I don't know whose this one is. But, um... Anyway, it's a good little... Good little ship design. And I'm actually 
it's a little bit can be a little bit rocky at times, but you know. It works. It works quite well actually. For a ship that I couldn't get off the ground before. And of course landing gear um, they, they get caught. You can't move very well, and if you finally get it moving, lots of times you'll end up destroying the landing gear, where the space balls, they can take a bigger beating than uh, most other things. So they have some really good quality stuff. And, and then, of course, you can change them to, um, to where, basically, you can go into the your screen, and you can select the uh, area and you can like increase the friction so it doesn't roll um, restitution so it doesn't bounce if you wanted to you can even create the increase the mass so that it doesn't uh, to make it e make it even heavier so it won't go anywhere so you can do things like that with them to kind of keep them keep the ship where it is of course the only thing is is you need uh, space wherever you land so that you can get a takeoff but it, it really doesn't seem to take very much space to get airborne uh, of course that's with um, natural gravity which takes into who which has special rules for large ships which again I don't think the space engineers are probably gonna go with a more realistic gravity system on planets so it might not work uh, with this ship build but still I think it's a concept that will probably be useful to some people in the future and maybe even now so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I hope this helps and um, Thank you for watching.